Remember to share your screen. Yeah, I will. All right. Okay. I had to start the stream first. I think. I don't know how it works with screen share exactly. Uh, no, not that one. Nope, not that one. There we go. All right. All right. So we're here. I said this for the Tony Hawk stream. This is tentatively the final uh, Metopia stream. It depends on how far we get. When we last yeah, we're left in the off. Final... Uh, we're in the final dungeon. Yeah, we get, we got Dark Lord Ganondorf. But uh, he turned out to be not such a bad guy. And yeah. he said we now have Dark Lord Christopher Lee because, because Christopher Lee can never escape being typecast as the bad guy. Except except in uh, in Horror Express. Uh, good effort. Someone uh, made an attempt at a Cthulhu. Yeah, that, that looks odd. I like Candy. She looks nice. Candy. Yeah. Who looks the scariest, Steve? That looks like that uh, that fucked up Steve, the grotesque Steve. Yeah, I I think the scariest one looks like look, is meh or the man man. The man man. Yeah. It's the bye bye man. Like the man man would be that kind of horror movie, right? <laughs> Man, why'd you have to say the bye-bye, man? Now, now a vaguely creepy entity and his dog are coming. <laughs> don't think it. Don't say it. Maybe we can pray for protection from uh, the Babadook. <laughs> you have to read that book. What, the Babadook? It was, a, it was a children's book that the mother found and she ripped it apart. Right? Like, in-universe? That, that's the story of the movie? It's just that it's a... Is based off of a book that the that mother read to her kid, not knowing what it was about. You're shifting like in and out a lot. Oh, that's because I was moving to get more comfortable. Ah, I'm, I, it'll be stable now. Oh, I gotta check the arcade. Yeah, do so. I I know nothing about the Babadook other than that he's a, a gay rights icon. Somehow, no. Uh, the you know the how movie... that happened, right? How did that happen? Oh, because is uh... the movie was mistakenly tagged as a uh, LGBTQT on Netflix. Yeah, that's right. And everyone turned it into a meme, and the creators like, you know what? I dig it. You know that would make sense considering like the Baba Duke is about trying to accept like parts of your life and not resisting it. Yeah. It was it was about coping because oh. the Baba. With like, a horror creature stalking you? Is that what you're coping well, with? It, I, I would tell you more, but it would spoil the movie. Okay. And it's actually a good movie that I want people to watch. Alright, are oh, we gonna so, finally... Uh, we have two stone thingies we have to find. And then when we have the two stone thingies, we can enter the final tower. Yes, and then hopefully fight the final boss. And then bring peace to this land. Forever. Will, will peace ever come back to this land? Will we ever find. God. When I realize I really miss uh, when JRPGs were really fucking weird. Yeah? Like Earthbound? Well, not just Earthbound, but also just like. The idea of just going through like crazy lands and just having multiple threads of plot lines that just go all over the place. Yeah. Just Had that, that such never, as like Lagoon. Like tr Chrono Trigger. Look, Lagoon was terrible. Lagoon there... was also just kind of, kind of like, oh, we're in a field ne named after a race. Now we're in a castle. Yeah, now we're in a field. Now we're in a pretty castle. Generic. Yeah. Oh, Matt is an authority in the field of robotics. Matt, the roboticist. This man is a yeah. legend in the me community. <laughs> Apparently, he was Matt? like the final boss in the Wii Sports games. It was always Matt. 
So now it's like a title of honor in, in the Mii Chords. If you're the best Mii player, you're the Matt. Okay. I didn't realize that was actually a thing. Or did you just make it up? No. No, that's actually a thing. Okay. Good lore. Like that lore. I never actually played... Uh, apparently Wii Sports Resort was good. I think it was on the Wii U. But, uh... I never played it, and I only played Wii Sports as much as, like, playing it with the family. There were, like, 50. There's a, there's a Wii Sports Resort to uh, golf speedrun community. Is there? Yeah. A very, a very uh, hardcore community. You're still, Somebody you're still phasing in and out. Am I still phasing? It's oh, like a oh, phasing oh. audio effect. It's very strange. Wow. Wow. Hold on. Hello, uh, Mango. Random night to do a stream. Uh, any more? Jack just got a new job, so at the moment, it's down to whatever his days off are. Alright, how about now? Sounds fine so far. Okay. Man, I, I, I don't even know what I was talking about now. Uh, I forgot. We are talking about how Lagoon was shitty. Chrono Trigger covers many wacky different storylines and areas. Yeah. You're not collecting seven of something. Yeah. I, I just like uh, there to be a story and people to just, just kind of go with the flow. Where, where what is the plot of Chrono go? Trigger? You gotta like go to certain p points in history to prevent Lavos or something? Basically the apocalypse is happening in 1999 and uh you and your uh, and your party must find a way to prevent it by going to various points in time, which are like so. There is uh, their modern day medieval times of uh, 1000 AD, and there is uh, 800 AD. There is uh, 65 million BC. Which one is uh, which one is 800 AD? You get a party member there. Uh, yeah, that's where you get the frog knight. Okay. I know, f I know the party members. I know Frog and Ayla and... Where's Marl from? Marl is, is, a, is medieval. You're from medieval. You're... you're uh, Marl's Luca. from... Luca's medieval. Robo's 2300, which is post-apocalypse. Future. Uh, the cave woman is from 65 million. And uh, you get somebody from... I want to say 10,000 10, BC or something. I think that's all of them. Magus? Magus? Magus is, uh... Oh, that's, that's complicated. I know bits and pieces of Chrono Trigger. The gameplay is too far out of my realm that I'll ever play it. I wasn't even interested. Because you have, because for some reason you have a problem with active time battle. It's also just a lot of J JRPG stuff to wade through to get to the good stuff that I'm sure is in there. I'm just not willing to play or watch it. Oh, whoops. Oh, whatever. Hey, you got penguin tree. It's just fish. Oh, boy. Oh. Uh, I'm playing through Pokemon Sword again on my own profile. And, uh, apparently we missed this. There's a new evolution for Mr. Mime. The ice one. Oh, yeah? There, there's there's yeah, a, a new evolved form. Mr. Rhyme. Yeah, yeah, you didn't... You I was didn't... not aware of this. Yeah, the, the guy with the staff. So Apparently somebody did, like, was like, Mr. Mime wasn't called Mr. Mime in, uh, in uh, Japanese. It was called something else involving Barrier. clowns. Yeah, and, uh, and they're like, listen, we can't, you, you realize that if they do gendered evolutions, we're gonna fuck ourselves, right? And they're like, well, it's a risk we're gonna have to take. And it didn't pay off, because they have a female... This this is mine. I think it was the the translator, the freelancer they had, said, "Hey, this is a bad idea," but they yeah. vetoed it and called it Mr. Mime anyway. Yep. Bad. It was a bad idea. I didn't like that. 
Bellos doesn't it doesn't like fish. So uh YouTube went out for about an hour yesterday. It did, and all of Discord was freaking out about it. Yeah, everybody was freaking out about it. The great the great uh, YouTube blackout of 2020. And it happened at the same time as uh, the Smash servers went down for maintenance, so all the Smash discords were treating it like a cruel joke. Yeah. <laughs> maybe... Maybe, uh... Maybe it was, um... Related? It was... There are really? genderless Pokemon, yeah. We are talking about how... They decided to get, go with the English name Mr. Mime before genders were introduced to the series. Despite the translator saying, hey, what if genders are introduced later? This might be a bad idea. And they're like, no, shut up. It won't happen. And it was... And then they're like... And they could have just made it an all-male species. His Jinx was an all-female species. That was the second fuck-up, to be honest. Jinx being an all-female species? No, that they knew that he was now called Mr. Mime in English, but they didn't make it an all-male species. They made Mr. Mime an all- they could make Mr. Mime an all, like, male species, and, Miss, uh, and Jinx. Jinx an all-female species and have him interbreed. Jinx is all-female, but Mr. Mime can be either. Oh, well darn. Maybe- maybe it's like, even the females identify as males? Weird as species quirk. By, by the way, um, apparently, if you want to make official Sonic games, you have you have to like follow like all these rules. Official Sonic games. games. Yeah, if you want to make a Sonic game, Sega has, like, a big list of shit that you have to do to follow. Like, a big list of, like... Okay. I would yeah. imagine it's the same for Mario, infamously. But, uh, what, what, what is Sega's list? Oh, God. I don't... I think one of it is that... is that Sonic always has to have his shoes. Okay. No Sonic he can't feet. without his shoes. Uh, that's... We don't want to encourage only... that side of the fan base. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what the rest of them are, but, uh, but that was one that I, that I saw, because that would, that came up with, uh, Mario and Sonic at the, uh, Winter Olympics, or, you know, the Mario Sonic Olympics stuff. Yeah. Sonic X had, a uh, Mobian feet, but it was just, you know, nondescript blobs without toes or anything, which was the yeah. same as, like, Takal in Sonic Adventure. Just yes. un undefined. I, I would just say that uh, that, that was uh, what was it? That was just uh, like the the Dreamcast sprites. Yeah. <laughs> what? There's a fucking PC ninety eight game called a zombie game called Dead of the Brain. Okay. Dead of the brain. That's one way to describe zombies. Dead of... The thumbnail is just the main character, from their point of view, shoving their thumbs into a zombie's eyes as they're reaching for him. Do Sonic's arms have to be blue? I don't know. That is a good question. I wish I had the... What are they usually? <laughs> aren't, they us list. aren't they usually blue? Yeah, they're not- they're not tan, I don't think. But his legs Wait, are tan. Oh Mango was saying that that was one of the things that Chris Chan complained about. Why are his arms blue? Because he's got fur on them. Like... Actually, you know what, I could, uh... Actually, no, his arms are blue- aren't blue, they're tan. Okay. His legs are blue. Well, if his legs are blue, why are his arms blue? PC-98 had a sick FM synthesis chip, also the origin of the Toho games. Yeah, I'm familiar with that, with the, the being the origin of the Toho games. I just assumed they started on PC. 
I guess yeah, technically. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. It did start on PC. Your your assumption was correct. Just get a bunch of spears and sell them. That was uh that was infamously a topic of the more recent Paper Mario game that came out that they had all these rules they now had to follow ever since, uh, I think, Super Paper Mario. They can't do Goombas with hats anymore. You know what? At that point, I just... It's obvious they're not going to create a, a Paper Mario that we'd all like, so we got to create our own fucking Paper Mario-style game the from one. scratch. There, we'll was create a, our own. there was a Paper Mario-like an indie game that came out pretty recently, that Bug Fables, Bug Tales thing. Oh yeah, but it's not Mario, so fuck it, is yeah. what you basically said. Well, no, it's not because it's not Mario, it's because it's, it's Bugs, a... which yeah. is a very limited scope to me. Oh yeah, that's right, and and then I countered with Hollow Knight being about Bugs, and it was really good. I'm not really... I don't like the Hollow Knight aesthetic either, it looks very boring to me. You just I'm don't sure like it plays bugs. fine, but... Well, what was your opinion of uh, A Bug's Life? Uh, it was you a, ever a watch fine that movie? movie, I guess. It was a what? It was an alright movie. Alright. It's well, not something I'll... I would want to spend as many hours as would be required in a game. In... Alright, what What do you think would be a good uh, type of universe for that kind of pa Paper Mario something style? Something that's not so limited. Something with a wide, wide scope. With a very colorful like, array of characters. Hmm. Maybe Japanese yokai? Could be, that's an option, yeah. Uh, fairy tales. If they made a yokai watch game that was very Paper Mario esque, that could be the thing to get me to yokai watch. Wait, no, I got it. What about what about just you play as like a as like a dude, and and like you collect like heroes from like fairy tales, and you fight like Jack. Try you... stop trying to make a fate Paper Mario game. F okay, fate is not fairy tales. Mostly, fate is, uh, mythology. Yeah. Get it right. Big difference. Big difference, yes. Damn right. There's no fucking Little Red Riding Hood fucking, like, summon. Yet. Uh... What about, like, like, a computer world? Uh, like, you're, like, it's sure. a sci like, cyberspace. There's plenty of color in that, but you have a badge system, but that's just installing programs. Depending on how limited it was to that theme. Like, go on different websites, different websites have different, like... You really have to find a good balance between limiting yourself and, uh... Like, having a themed world and also having a lot of room for expansion with an adventure scope kind of series. Like Avatar. Yeah. If it were all, like, super-duper focused Japanese-Asian, it would... You wouldn't have that adventure of... You, you go around, you see all these new things they've come up with, all these wonderful creatures. You know what? I would have loved if, like, in, uh, in Last Airbender, they happened to go somehow to another continent and they then they fight like vikings yeah that had a different style of magic and you see that's kind of the opposite of, of extreme is if you have absolutely no theme then it just kind of feels lazy but yeah i would prefer that to being too slavish to a theme and being boring as a result okay i got it no i don't never mind i i don't have it <laughs> Yeah, Sega and, and Nintendo are becoming safer when it comes to their properties, and and I and I, I'm disappointed by that. Well, because they're they're money makers. As long as they keep doing what's safe, they'll continue selling and they'll continue making money. Yeah, which is, means that it's up to the independent artists to like differentiate themselves and light a fire under Nintendo's ass. Or, at the very least... Nintendo gets something. that way a lot, is that uh, they get really successful, and then they get up their butts a little bit and stop trying. 
until everyone yeah. stops buying their stuff and then they start trying again. It's like every other generation with them. It's 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 the Nintendo life cycle. The circle the game. of games. And, it, and those who, that don't follow that life cycle are going to die off. But then once, you hit that point where it's just too big to fail. Yeah. At that point, you can safely not buy any of their games anymore, knowing that, oh, they'll be fine forever. Yeah. I don't need any of their games anymore. I'm gonna move on. Unfortunately, that's the only thing that talks, so it's, nothing's gonna change unless people actually stop buying the things. Oh. Well, uh, Jim Sterling's fighting the good fight, as far as I, as far as me, though. I just gotta, I just, I just gotta do my part that to not like fucking with the uh, stuff that I don't like. Like for instance, I, I stopped playing Call of Duty. I bought Dusk and uh, Medieval instead. Yeah. Because those are those are games that are like really good. Uh, what do you think, top or bottom? Uh, top. Pay raise recently. That's nice. That's good. We all need a pay raise. I was put on furlough recently, so I'm currently staying at home and on unemployment until there are more uh, driving positions back over again. Yep, and uh, I got a job recently, a, a, a union job with benefits, and apparently very large union dues. That's something I raised an eyebrow at. You know what? Considering uh, considering what I get in response, I'm cool with it. Hmm. Um. Uh, why is Terrarian have an update again? What are they update? I thought they dropped their final update. I remember people were talking about a big update for it a few months ago. Why are the lizards doing the back attack shit? Good question. It's so weird. Lizard yeah, Man B. Are they ashamed of being lizard men? They're, maybe they're they just too cool like to look at us. You don't know how to. Super distracted. Know. Yeah, you did it. Restore an enormous amount of HP. Oh, okay. Giga Cure, great. That'd be useful. So who's uh, Zelos uh, pissed? Who did pissed? Off? Who was uh, pissed off at Zelos again? I don't know. Someone pissed off at him. I think so, he tripped somebody. Yeah, I'm gonna i I'm gonna swap characters after this. Probably for the best. Hey, you open up a hidden path. I see I told you top is the correct answer. Well get us to where we're going though. Emergency. Somebody's sick. Karma's well, a bitch! Yay! Oh, hey, hey, that's interesting. So, you can... sing metal. Yeah, I'm pretty good at it. <laughs> Heard something about Lena recently. Somebody, somebody's she gonna has a hear secret it. ultimate spell she's not using. They didn't program the Dragon Slave into the game. All would be broken. Everybody would die. Slayers is a series with DBZ tier attacks, but not DBZ tier bodies using them. Yeah. Everyone's kind of a glass cannon mage. You get hit by it, you're fucked. 
Oh, by the way, I, I was checking the Slay the Spire mods, and apparently somebody made Luca. Oh, yeah? Yeah. From I don't think Monster I'm subscribed Quest, to Luca. It. Yeah. This mod was created to get more people to play Monster Girl Quest. Therefore, I have done my best to make sure you do not get spoiled. It's a hentai game, but there's no nudity in this mod. I Please trust me when I say that Monster Girl Quest has the best story of any game of all time. I know that might be difficult to believe. Yeah? Yeah. You've got a luminous frying pan. What does she want? She wants a hand wand. It's a finger. That's a yeah. Kingdom Hearts weapon. Donald is wielding that somewhere. Oh man. I, if only it was making the t it, two fingers. Halloween uniform. Roast Griffin. Hmm. Roast Griffin? They w They don't like that. They wouldn't like that. Hi Lois. Griffin, I got I mean. my own roast. <laughs> Just fucking... Peter Griffin on the table with an apple in his mouth and a tan. God damn it. So these these guys are our main party, I think. I'm gonna keep them good and leveled. Alright. That's a dead end. And yeah, might as well, I guess. Hell dog. I, I guess you get those from hellhounds. Yeah, you eat a hell dog. If you eat a hell dog, you go to hell before you die. Just eat it, and you're just like, ah, oh, God. Be like that scene in fucking Van Wilder. Van Wilder. Yeah, so that was the National Lampoon's Van Wilder. That was the movie with uh, what, what was his name? What, what I forget who he fucking is, but uh, in this movie, um, there's a scene where like this asshole cheated on his girlfriend, expected her to be okay with it, so yeah. she gets it, her revenge by uh, by putting uh, something called colon blow into his uh, early morning protein shake before a big uh, college test. Yeah. And so halfway through, he just can't, like, hold it anymore, so he starts, like, just answering the same thing on all the questions, and even then, he's not fast enough, so he just runs and, like, puts the paper in, right? So then he's running, and then the guy who's, like, on his side the entire room is like, Hey! Surprise! I'm on your uh, I'm on your oral interviews. Now come on! No, I gotta go. No, come on! It, it'll be great. And he's like introducing him to all the people he's going to be like learning under in the future. And then he just can't hold it anymore, so he just runs to the trash can, drops his drawers, and then just well, you know, just while screaming. Imagine the <laughs> balls on the startup business owner who decided to name his product Colon Blow. <laughs> Super colon blow. Colon blow. Why? You know, you, you re I really want to emphasize how effective it is. We need a strong name. You know, I uh, I took colon blow, and av ever since, I've been, never felt cleaner. Just, just like afterwards, you're just like, I, just like I've taken colon blow, and man, I did I didn't shit for weeks. Here, Jack, have some bonus EXP. Thank you. I finished rewatching Slayers, and I miss it. There's not a lot of series that I can say that for that go like a hundred episodes and leave me still wanting more. Yeah, it was, it was really good. It didn't overstay its welcome. It was just a lot of like really good stuff. I can say that about Hunter as well, but that at least went longer. And that's more to do with the fact that it's not, you know, finished. Yeah, unlike uh, Slayers, which has a lot of stuff that could could be adapted, but uh, it, really, it wasn't good. really uh, it wasn't really a story with an ending, with a set goal or anything. It's very meandering. Yeah.
Those, yeah, those scorpions certainly got fucked. Hello, Derpy OK. A hidden path open. Do we get any stone blocks yet? No. Found an inn. That's nice, I guess. Oh, Zealous hey. is better. We're not. Well, that's fine. He can just stay there. Continue playing. We need to finish this game. Finish the game! No! <laughs> you ever see Tron? Uh, no. The original? There was like one like scene where uh, where like the main character who was a user uh, thrown into the digital world and some guys yelling at him to like finish the game and the guy just is like no! Yeah. Because <laughs> that would mean that the other guy would die. Just oh, I can get a keyblade. That is a fucking keyblade. I'm holding it upside down. So this is a this is a me RPG that uh, is kind of made like an idle game, but you do have control of one of your main character if you so choose, and it is uh, heavily requisite on uh, team relationships to have like a successful time in battle. Yeah, teamwork. Like, if everyone hates each other, a lot of bad things are going to happen. So it's like halfway between... It's like part idle game, part like The Sims. Yeah, it's... And part RPG. Oh. Uh-oh. No. What on Robot Earth? It's about the power of friendship. Robo it's about the power We're... of middle management, where you play the role of middle management. Or doomed. And you have to get all these idiots to not fight each other. See, look, they, they're happy. They love each other. Things are great. Now our tax powered up. Enlarge weapon. Yeah. I remember when I played the tank class, and that wasn't happening. I, I think it's definitely better for, uh... It, it works better as an idle game just for you to pass the time with, as opposed oh, to, Oh, you got uh, shield uh, sprinkles. You should use those. Okay. On um, those... Yeah, there you go. As opposed to necessarily a streaming game. Yeah. If you were to play, like, an idle game as well as, like, uh... As well as, like, something else... Instead of booting up uh, Slitherio whenever I have to wait through loading screens, I boot up Metopia. Yeah. Just get me No effect. You know, I'll bet Robomat is not as good at Kendo as real Matt. You're just a copy! It's halfway dead. But then Copy Rezo did so much more than regular Rezo. He had a goddamn Dragon Ball Z fight. <laughs> it was pretty good, yes. I stuck Kill. with the I stuck with the cleric class for my character just because it's handy to have uh, it's handy for the character you control to have healing abilities. Yeah, so you can do spot healing. Oh, just a bit, huh? Uh-oh. Locked on. You know what you must do. Well, it took a long time to unlock our final type of sprinkle. Yeah, probably because it's so broken. I guess there weren't really attacks before this that uh, took a turn to charge. Yeah. And had an obvious target.
Lena just eats MP. Well, she is a mage. Oh, hey, you, you can actually use both hands, and the, and it won. Matt is yeah. impressed with his kendo skills. Game is good for streaming all the weird interactions the characters have. What, all five of them? I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, I, I don't think this game has enough interactions in it, personally. I like Tamadachi a lot more for that. Yeah, I... There's only a few of them in this game. They're all pre-scripted, and they're not really influenced by your character's personality. What an odd choice of headgear they went with for the scientist class. What, the, the wig? Yeah. Oh, that's good. Hey, look. It's a nose jewel. That sounds like a, a gross euphemism for something. Nose jewel? No, it's just a piercing that happens in the nose. One more, okay. And the Dark We're Lord dead done. his comeuppance. For reals this time. Matt got turned into a robot. Yes, this, ga this game is about uh, a Dark Lord that takes people's faces and sticks them on monsters. Which, the interesting thing about it is that you can... Uh, it is randomly populated by Mii's that it pulls off online. But you can also choose to populate the Mii's manually. If you, like, want different characters to be characters that you've made. Yeah. We're up to our full uh, ten party members. So we have a bunch of... Uh, we have us, we have some OCs, we have some anime characters. Yeah. Which is pretty fun. We have... I think you can get uh, more than 10 after, like in the post game, you can resume making new party members. Oh, well, the, but the, the game is over, though. Yeah. I don't, we're not going to bother with the post game. Because it's a lot, it's just mostly taking missions from the Traveler's Hub and then going out and fulfilling them. <laughs> there are a couple of, uh, there are a couple noteworthy ones. You can get two extra classes in the post game. The, oh, yeah? I think Elf? Or maybe it's hey, Fairy. Elf and Fairy? Oh, was, sorry, Chara. It was one of those two. Like the, the Fairy Sisters. And uh, Vampire. Vampire. You can, you can get a Vampire class. Maybe is Vampire. Bleh. I'd say her, 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 her boyfriend came with a jewel? Oh, well, we gotta, we gotta deal with that shit. Won't you help me search for my little Toby? Oh, t Chara has a son. Chara's son, Toby. Her pet? Wow, I should have read that. I'll find your whatever we're looking for. Away! It's fine. We're... We're finally going to be done with this game, and we'll move on to something else. Jack, the, th the person Chara is looking for is Toby. Toby. Oh, fuck. Yeah, I just realized. I'm looking to kill him, too. Mm, mazes. Oh, here we are. And the sky was blood red. And there was blood all over the ground. Hyper-realistic blood. And the characters had hyper-realistic eyes. And Chara wanted to kill Toby Fox for making the game. For reals. Some new things on post game is actually really hard. Oh, I imagine. 
the that's ghost oogie mallet. boogie. Ghost mallet and toast, and apparently the ghosts hit so hard that they cause tears to. And you go for the toast. That's the biggest threat. Why? Why do, does the? Is it because it's so painful? That's a good question. Urgh. And large weapon, Kenpachi. Giant weapon. Lena and Kenpachi would make a terrifying combination. Oh yeah, that'd be. Oh man, Slayers. Except instead of Gallery, it's Kenpachi. Gallery's no slouch either. I know. But we're comparing him to Kenpachi. Yeah. Fucking Kenpachi. Honestly, they oh. have probably done similarly impressive stuff. It's just Kenpachi has so much more style about it. Yeah. I'll kill you all. It's like comparing Goku to Broly. Like, e even if they reach a point where they're both of comparable power, Broly just carries himself as such a bigger badass. Oh, yeah. <laughs> just, like... Just, like... So... Uh, okay. yeah, I'm... You think... I'm... You, you think, I'm holding uh, Lena B would to... try to get with Kenpachi in that? Who, Lena? Yeah. No. Probably not. No. Just too scary. I, I don't think Kenpachi has the capacity for romance. Maybe, maybe Lena would be the one to, uh, to break through that, uh hard outer shell of Kenpachi. I think the only time that uh, anyone gets kidnapped and we have to go, like, go save the princess and Slayers is a uh, Gowry. Because he gets taken by Fabrizzo. Oh yeah, that's right. And then there's like a, gets... a there's like a really nice scene where Lena realizes that she cares about him a lot more than she thought she did. And they have oh, to go yeah. save him. That, yeah, that, that would... Okay, that makes sense. I And I... Maybe that could happen. I just can't picture a, a Kenpachi getting kidnapped by someone, though. No, that's right. That'd have to be a hell of a villain. Maybe Lena would get kidnapped. Which, which to be fair, Fabrizzo is very literally one hell of a villain, but... Yeah. Now, one they, Kenpachi saving a kidnapped Lena wouldn't have quite the same effect, though. Yeah, that's true. Maybe... Maybe... Maybe Amelia gets kidnapped, and they both have to save her. Yeah. Now that wouldn't have the same effect. I can have it require some writing. Uh, you could do it. You could make this. What if Ga What if Kenpachi was instead of Gowry in Slayers? <laughs> uh, yeah, the Kenpachi smack friendship thing from earlier. I'm holding B to like uh, skip through stuff just because it's a lot of stuff that we've seen for like. 10 episodes of this by now. But, uh... Yeah. I think Zel uh, my character was under, like, uh, like a status effect. And Kenpachi smacked him out of it, is what happened. Oh, okay. The master game, Steve Harvey. Top or bottom? I'm gonna guess bottom, because that's harder. Yeah, let's do it. Usually, the harder route is the way you're required to go. You're always so full of energy, Kenpachi. I didn't sleep well yesterday. I'm talking less. Seemed pretty lively to me. It's fucking Halloween world. I got. I found it now. I've got something in my front pocket for you. Just throw it away if you don't want it. <laughs> Fucking J-pop idol Nathan explosion, man. Hello, Jaden.
I do like the creativity in the classes in this game. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good yeah. idle game. It would just probably be cooler if it wasn't an idle game. Yeah. If it, you could actually control everything and stuff. And also the interactions thing. Yeah. That's the big difference between this and Tamadachi for me. Is there's just not enough in this game. No. And they're kind of limited because they have to fit it into a sort of narrative in some way. Yep. It just... It's just kind of... There is a po I'm, I'm aware there's a post-game. I think I think we've about gotten what we've needed to get out of this game. We're just yeah. uh, trying to get to the ending and we'll see if we get it this stream. We're on the last jewel and then we go to the tower and I don't know how long the tower is going to take. Uh hopefully not long. Maybe maybe it'll maybe once it's determined we've got all four of them it'll be like okay. It will just be, Christopher Lee will just be immediately in there. Just right up to the top. Whack even the toughest meat with a hammer and it'll be tender. Yeah, that that's, tends to be how it works. Have some magic. Alright, are we... Might want to dedicate an entire stream for just the tower. Whoop. Oh, is that it really? Is there going to be... Probably get there oh. about an hour in. We're at 45 minutes now. Well, let's we'll just finish the fight. What if they make it, like, five hours long? Or the final tower. Yeah. Yes, that's Chara from Undertale. Or a me of her that someone has made. Her or him. D d that depends. Do you think there was, like, uh, an early early brewings of Undertale, where the main character was Ness and the Chara equivalent was Ninten. Ooh, I don't know. Maybe. The former hero. That was quite a longer game, though. We were at that for years. Yeah. Yeah, and we didn't stream that as often. We didn't even stream that. We, we did recordings of it. Your singing sounds like bread baking. Take half an hour to an hour. Yeah, that's kind of about what I figured. So there is stuff to it. You don't just go immediately to the final boss, though. Half hour to an hour. That's that's acceptable. All according to plan. Did we get a Mr. Burns me at any point in this game? Uh, Smithers. Oh, the people's gratitude has awakened new power for the 15th time. Yay. You do well, do well. Jack and Judy learn to get well soon. Corin. Corin. Do you like Corin? I want to be friends with Zelrog again. Not until you renounce your evil ways and become human. I don't think it works like that. How'd that happen? 
I don't remember. I guess I was the one he tripped. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I promise it won't happen again today. They always, they've always been quick to forgive each other. Yeah, it's, that's Zelos. Never... Sometimes he helps us, sometimes he tries to kill us. Slime jelly. It's great! I just tend to give it to the people who like it because they get the bigger stat boosts. You're barely getting enough, though. Who wants some tea? Well, you know, you need some magic. Tower stuff. Oh yeah, I mean, we went to the... We did the Dark Lord Tower. This is the Darker Lord Tower. Yeah, this is uh, completely different. Totally. And I've, I've seen a full playthrough of this, so I'm not blind, but Jack has never seen it before. Yeah. It's Mummy! You have to come home! Oh no, not what? again. Why would you Boy. make Chara but have her eyes wide open? It's an odd interpretation. Wolf of the Wisp. Okay. I get it. Alright, what's the gimmick for this one? That was a... That was a Maple Story enemy. It was like a little dog with like a giant... A stand. A giant ghost dog form. Coming out of it. Stink. I wonder if there's like a... It's like an obscure yokai that both are referencing or something. Maybe. Be interesting. So I, I think I mentioned last Metopia, I'd started uh, Star Versus, the Forces of Evil, and I yeah. started Gintama. Yeah, you, uh, you, you've, uh, Gintama's kind of a weird middle ground between Urusei and Excel Saga. Oh, yeah? Because it's got a, a kind of similar setting to Urusei, Yatsura, in that it's, uh, it's Japan, except weird alien shit happens. Hmm. But it's set in Meiji Japan. Meiji era Japan? Yes. So it's That's Meiji Urusei Atsura, but more madcap and more parody heavy, like Excel Saga. Is it worth watching? I've been I've been struggling to stay with it. Uh, supposedly it gets better as it goes on, but we'll see. I've been more inclined to uh, watch more of Star, which had a rough start, but has it's it started picking up towards the end of season one into season two. All right, it's another one of those shows where uh, they only start like taking risks and having a story after the first season. That tends to happen. That happened with the uh, Voyager and uh, Deep Space Nine. Is that in the third season, Deep Space Nine decided, hey, let's have the story. Yeah. Well, they got to prove themselves to the to the the producers, the sponsors for the first season. Then once yeah. they know they're gonna make money. Once they know they're gonna make money. That's why season one Family Guy was just The Simpsons. That's why season one Avatar was extra cartoony. What are some other shows with uh, distinctly, like, safe season ones? Uh... I guess Person of Interest had a safe season one. Yeah? It had... It was just, like, kind of a... Kind of like a reverse, uh... Procedural, uh, show. Until season two, which it started focusing on the fact that holy shit, there are actual AI. Wow, that boss battle was a big punch of nothing, huh? Oh, Sonic X. The first season was like all the previous Sonic cartoons, just a wacky episodic thing. Yeah. And then they, they decided got, to have a plot in season two and onward. <laughs> No, it had its moments. Wasn't that the wasn't season one the one where uh, 
where the gun launched an all-out assault on Robotnik's tower, and Robotnik responded by going, "Oh, ho, ho, ho. oh, what a mess!" Did that Just... happen, or was that not till season two? I don't know. I don't remember for sure. Season one was very episodic and had dumb episodes like Eggman trying to... He sent the teaching robot to teach the elementary schoolers. I'll teach them to love Eggman. This is a brilliant plan. And I'll decide all of my robots with a roulette wheel. I'm such a genius. You know what? Um, fucking... Uh... People say, oh, Archie Comics Sonic was the best. No, Sonic X is my jam. Yeah. Because Archie Comics Sonic is, like, really serious, and it had, like... It was, a, it was like, Marvel Comics continuity with, like, drama and, like, bit, like betrayals and stuff. Sonic X... And also, the characterization of uh, Sonic in the Archie Comics Sonic was was a bit more dickish than in Sonic X where he was just ultra chill. Yeah. Like, ast astonishingly so. Sonic X was... chill to the extreme. Yeah. Kid Everybody... closes off the portal to his world. He's like, okay! <laughs> no yeah. problem here! I understand. Wasn't it? There's a... There's a infamous, like, uh, I think Archie Comics author. Uh, yeah. Ken, Ken Penders? Does that name sound familiar? Oh, yeah, that's the guy who did the, who did the lawsuit. Yeah, he, he sued to get, like, some of his characters from Sega or something. Something like that. And he wanted to do, like, uh, a lot of really weird, extremely adult plot lines in these Sonic comics. There was something to do with, like, uh... Sally cheating on Sonic. There's a lot of weird writing decisions he made that, like, raised a lot of eyebrows over the course of the comic's life. It, I don't know it, if he was behind Swole Tales. I don't know if that was him or not. Oh, that's not the right Swole place. Tales. You've well, seen that, right? Uh, let me, let me, let me, uh... Got all the skyscraper jewels. I looked up Swole Tales and uh, I didn't see any obvious images. No. Uh, well, I'll, I'll well, find a way to show it to you later. It's an infamous panel from Archie Comics. We'll have to finish off the Darker Lord once and for all. This person was originally a friend of yours, right? Yeah. But no longer. No mercy. Are you really going to be able to fight your friend? Yes. I see. I found him. Titan Tails. That sounds right. Yeah. What a what a silly character design. I can tell Look you're determined to see this through. Look. <laughs> I'm sorry. Go oh, ahead. Post it in the Discord. I will. Discord. There you go. Oh, it doesn't show because it's wikia.nocookie.net. That's him. That's it's Titan Tails. Titan Tails. Why? Yeah, there's a lot of weird stuff in uh, Archie Comics Sonic. Uh, a lot of plot lines, and I guess that looks like a clown. What are you looking for on the roulette? Uh, if we get something that's like a guarantee for one good item, or uh, very small chances of like HP bananas, you know, garbage items. Because if we get, like we earlier, we got the the spear. That was an almost guarantee, so just, I spent it all on those, and I sold the extra ones for good money. The Sky Scraper. So, I just, uh, I just remembered there was a plot line where, like, oh, there was a oh, character oh, oh. that was mistrusted by the Denzins of, stuff, uh... Jack, stuff is happening. Oh, okay. It's Darker Lord Chris Lee. It's been a while. 
How kind of you to pay me a visit. Since you've come all this way, allow me to test how strong you really are. I think you'd like to know I summon an old friend or two to this tower. It's it's gonna be a boss rush, isn't it, Jack? Yeah, it's gonna be a boss rush. <sighs> Good luck. Thank you, Saruman. So what were you saying? Uh, something about, like, one of the characters trying to fix stuff with the power of pop music, and it didn't end up working. Wait, did we fight that thing before? I don't think so. It's not Yamato no Orochi, it's just Orochi, just the one head. Just the one. It's dead now. Well, it's a good thing that thing didn't have nine heads. I had to kill it nine times. That was a... It was a Ranma episode that had the Yamada no Orochi. Which, that doesn't really do folklore as much as, like, Urusei in Inuyasha does. You mean eight heads. Is it eight heads? It is eight heads. It's the eight-headed snake and the nine-tailed fox. Oh, uh, you know what? I'm gonna turn off auto battle. How strong are these guys? Also, apparently, uh... Where is it? Righteous anger! Nope, miss. That's the power of teamwork, is just the power of just laying a beat down. Teamwork really is broken. Yeah. Shaolin Showdown had a pretty episodic, no big threats first season. Until the end when I think that was the when Wuya came back was the season one finale. Yeah, and I think there was another one where uh at one point did uh Chase Young. Hey, why is he he was sick again? I missed why, that. He keeps getting sick. Zelos, wash like, your hands. There were like a couple of betrayals. There were many anime betrayals in Shaolin Showdown. Yeah, it was great. It was... You never knew what was going to happen. Except Jack Spicer always playing all sides. Jack Spicer. What a great no-name schmuck villain who ended up just getting his way. He remained... He, he was... Remained competent just by... By playing all sides. Yeah, he... He had, he had, he was the middleman for everybody. He had to stay on good terms with all the big name villains. I, I also have to say that, uh, that that was the, a series that was ridiculous because it was just people watching people watching people watching people. That was a trope was that like, came up multiple that, times in Shaolin Showdown. Fucking somebody was like talking and so it was revealed that that was overheard by somebody else and somebody else overheard that and they're like oh that's interesting. No, <laughs> and, so and that's what Young Omi is up to. Oh so that's what Chase Young is up to. So ah so that's what uh what was his name? Hannibal Yeehaw Bean. Bean. Hannibal fucking Bean. Animal what a beat. dumb character. I mean, he had moments, he was fine as a character, but why was he a fucking bean? Because, I don't know. It, it, you had, you have fucking, like, uh, evil adventure Jack Spicer, evil ghost Wuya, uh, evil martial artist dragon Chase Young, and cowboy bean. Yeehaw! He's the greatest evil of them all. He's the most ancient one. He turned the others bad. But, but somehow, <laughs> the greatest, uh, the greatest villain of them all, cowboys. Teen Titans had a more safe first season. Yeah. It just ended with Slade's like uh, apprentice plot with Robin. <laughs> Didn't get into you the really plot heavy apprentice. stuff. Why do you want me to be your apprentice? You're you're the only one good enough. Just fucking do it. Oh, that's right. Oh wait, I, I just got killed very quickly. 
be you're being attacked by snowflakes. It's okay, just call them mean stuff and then they'll capitulate. I wish we just watched the My Hero Academia episode that spent an entire episode against a guy with, like, mind control powers. Yes. And it was- it, the fight itself was the equivalent of, like, a schoolyard scuffle. And they just filled the entire 20 minutes with- that with drama and talking about, Oh, this is the end. How do I overcome these powers? I can't do it. It was a fight that was all padding. My Hero Academia has that problem where it's it's just like it's just too much. It, it's just it's so reliant on melodrama that it loses all of its power. Yeah, it's just like oh, what is it? What's gonna happen next? More melodrama? And yet it's not I a parody. I have to of do it. this for my people, and then it's just like at a certain point, somebody's gonna be like, "The fuck are? You? Can we move it along?" I'd love for there to be just this one character who's like, Why are you fighting to be heroes? Like, I'm just here to fight to be a hero, man. You guys are all taking this really seriously. I mean, that's basically Uraraka. She wants to make money. That's her yeah, reason but for she's being like, a hero. I want to make money to, to help my parents so they won't be poor anymore. And heroic music plays, dramatic close ups from underneath her. Yeah, I'd love, I'd love if Deadpool was in this fucking universe. He had no tolerance for this shit. I want someone from outside the, the hero universe to just be watching them. And he's just standing there in silence while heroic music is playing around them and they're giving their speeches. Is this just like a trait of the. Of is this, this normal here? Anyone else seeing this? Do you guys all talk like this? Well, yeah, that's just, that's just how we. That's just how we talk. MHA is pretty bad about that. They don't call him Green Naruto for no reason. Naruto didn't do that, though. Naruto was just... He had he his, like, Ninja angel. Way speech three or four times? Not every single fucking episode. They didn't do it all the time, and, and they had moments where they had, like, moments of triumph where they allowed themselves to feel good about the situation. Yeah. As opposed to fucking, uh... There's always, like, a somber note that a My Hero Academia episode ends with. Yeah, even if the characters are victorious, they don't feel like winners. Was anything really accomplished? Why do we fight? What are we fighting for? <laughs> you know, Yu-Gi-Oh! wasn't this fucking melodramatic. Yeah. It was just... <laughs> I I don't know if it's crossed over to being amusing for me for my hero academia because it's just like I gotta I gotta approach it with the mindset I gotta remember that they're gonna do that and then I'll start to enjoy it. Yu-Gi-Oh was ninety percent trash talk. Yeah, everybody in the Yu-Gi-Oh universe just engages in some form of like trash talk. And then you run into someone who's just nice all the time. What was the 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 kid in the? The German guy arc, the filler arc. The kid was just oh, nice yeah. to everybody, and everyone was kind of look at him like, "Hey, do you know how this works? You're gonna get in the spirit of this. Come on, insult my mother or something." That kid has just said nothing but nice stuff this entire time. I takes, don't trust him. Takes all the fun out of it. Yeah, oh, I, I don't. Man, nah, this isn't fun anymore. It's like each each uh, anime series we see has its own. Not its own, not only its own like you like rules as to how their powers work, but also the rules as to how their social interactions are. Yeah. Like apparently in My Hero Academia, everything is either like really like boastful or really melodramatic. Everybody melodrama is just the culture there. Apparently, that's just the default way that things work in in My Hero Academia. Is just everybody's all melodramatic. Yeah. So really, when Deku was saying, Mom, do you think I could still be a hero? If he knew any better, he knew his mom would just hug him and start crying instead of going, Oh, sure, you can still be a hero. I'm so sorry. Yeah. I do like that his mom looks like a mom and not a MILF like every other anime ever. Yeah. That... I'm just picturing, like, you're just going into, like, a fucking store, 
in My Hero Academia, and there's this guy in a job. He's like, I don't know how I'm going to make rent this shitty fucking day job, and I have to Dramatic worry music about place. these villains, but I have to do it. I have to work at this store. Oh, hey. Oh, hey, how's it going, sir? I don't know what to eat. I have to lose weight. If I don't lose weight, I, how am I going to be a hero? I need to find proper diet food. <laughs> You have to lose 30 pounds, you're gonna be out of this course! That's just how- that's just how that universe works, apparently. That's just how people communicate. It's like mostly. optimistic melodrama, as opposed to Attack on Titans, like, everything is fucked melodrama. At all times. <laughs> Always Attack up to 11! Titan, the culture of Attack on Titan is just- everybody is just- everybody is just- is very fatalistic there. Yeah. Like the guy who's just like, he died for nothing! Hmm. And then she just said nothing. She didn't even like break down and cry. She's just like. Oh, oh. yeah, we're like halfway through season two of Academia, by the way. So we're behind. Yeah. So who's yeah, this? He... Who's this fellow? I don't know. His face is gone. His face. Do I know this person? Oh. Hey, what's wrong? It's just Ganon again. Oh! That's ga literally Ganon again. Copy Dark Lord. It's cop. Oh, we, we really should have done Rezo. Yeah. Oh well. Ganondorf. Fa it's Phantom Ganon. Phantom Ganon. We're fighting Phantom Ganon after regular Ganon. Looked like we just kicked him down and gang beat him. Yeah, I was, I was just thinking about... It takes me a bit to kind of get used to how an anime operates. I mean, for some reason, My Hero Academia, it's taking me longer to kind of get into the swing of how the epi how, of how each episode is, as opposed to something like Lane. Yeah. Which, for some reason, that didn't take me as long to be like, okay, this is how Lane's gonna be. I guess it's because, like, My Hero Academia has moments of levity, but then it just has moments of just crushing melodrama, and I'm still- and it still hits me by surprise. Yeah. I can't, like, brace myself for it and just- and just kind of roll with it and be- and laugh with it. <laughs> but now- but now I, I- I know how to do the jokes whenever we watch My Hero Academia again. Fucking Kotomo Kuroki is just like, my mom burned, burned the side of my face, and I vowed never to use my fire powers again, and Zuko's like, that's rough, buddy. Oh, that's right, the mom did something horrible, too. Yeah. It's just... And yet, he's committed to using her powers. Yeah. Because he blames his dad. Because the dad it. is so much worse. I mean, you saw how he reacted, how he acted. Like, Have a sit down between like, Endeavor and Yujiro Hanma. I think I think at this point I will say that Yujiro Hanma. I don't I don't know I don't know which one's the worst dad. Yujiro's done Endeavor. like a turnaround. Like he's still a giant asshole, but he's appearing to Baki and trying to be supportive in his own he's stupid not, ways. He's not immediately attacking Baki. No. He's not. He just showed up and then he's like, "Hey, you should." You should have sex with your girlfriend. But Dad! Dude, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna teleport out this door now. That's the thing about Baki, is that, is that Baki has some melodrama, but it, it's, like, contrasted. It's not like everybody's, like, kind of pontificating as to how hard everybody struggled. They're just kind of thinking, man, I really, I really need to fight to prove to myself that this is a thing I can do. Naruto, oh man, just uh, drop anybody in the in the My Hero Academia verse, and they'd be like, "Why the fuck are you all so melodramatic?" Yeah, I think maybe what? Naruto would get into it. Get into it? He'd just be like, he'd just be like, "Man, everybody's so sad." No, he'd Luffy adapt to it and he'd join right Luffy. in, and he'd go on his own melodramatic speeches about his ninja way. 
Yeah, like everyone bullied it. him out of it. He had to stop it in his universe. Luffy, Luffy would just would just have no time for anybody. She's like, why the fuck are He'd you just all walk away mid speech? And Luffy's like, man, do you guys all talk this much? Luffy doesn't even put up with people talking in his own series. Like he's yeah. got his bad guy radar. The moment he sees the arc bad guy, he's like, that's the guy I need to fight. And that's then his, it's just going for them. That's a weird talent he has. I wonder if all D people have that. All right, ex Dark Lord Ganondorf. That was terrible. Not again. Don't suppose you remember me, do you? Yes. I remember no. you. The Dark Lord? Exactly. Except I'm just a regular human now. Do you, after you defeated the Dark Lord, I was released from the Dark Curse. I mean. Dark Lord did so many terrible things, but I never wanted any of this. I just wanted to be a fisherman. I really want you to believe that. I wanted to own a fishing hole. The game devs wouldn't let me. Said it would be I'm weird. St I'm still disappointed that they decided, no, fuck that. Can't have Terminian Ganon. You're gonna Terminian. still gonna fight the Dark Lord, right? You bet! And you know what? That would make sense, considering all the other Gerudo were like sea people. They were, yeah. I want to make up for the trouble I caused as the Dark Lord. Will you let me come with you? Fuck yeah. Come on, Ganon. Good let's, guy let's Ganon. Kill them all. Ex Dark Lord Ganondorf joined the party. Fuck yeah. Hmm. What? Where's the series where people kind of underreact? Like uh, people said. It's Hunter, more dramatic if possible, but everybody is just kind of like, ah, whatever. Hunter, Hunter. Oh yeah. <laughs> Everyone's kind of vaguely amoral, like not totally. Yeah. There are things that will set off, like Gone. Yeah, but it, there's, but everybody there just kind of, just kind of doesn't have like a like a morality that we know it. There's a general there's... understanding that the world is just all these different people out to their own conflicting ends, and that's just the way it is. People don't have a black and white morality in that universe. Everybody is just kind of, yeah, what you said. So, oh man, Gon and Kilua go into the hunter into the My Hero Academia world. They'd be like confused as fuck. They'd be like, wait, what do you mean good and evil? Just, I, I, people just kind of do what they want to do. They're like, no, he, he, heroes defend people from being evil. And they're like. What, what, Again, like, it's not completely amoral in Hunter Hunter though. Yeah. Like Kilua doesn't want to be an assassin, and Go yeah. got really set off at the spiders for all the people they'd killed. Well, that's because uh, that's because he was friends with uh, Karapika, and so it was because it was Karapika. No, he was like he was like, well, he he's my friend, and you fucked with them. So. No, it was not that. It was because they were killers specifically. And he was mad uh, that they could kill so just blase easily, and then yet while be still being friends with each other. Yeah, I see what you mean now. Well, then in that case, I guess I guess I I think the only thing they would have that uh, they would have trouble with is everybody's melodramatic speeches. It would just be going and Kula going. Well, why don't you why don't you just do something about it? Meanwhile, Karapika goes to the Academia universe. And they give and him like, his chance to have a speech, and he just grabs a microphone. And everybody is like, is like Wow, oh, you're man, good at this. It's just, that's so sad. It's just, it, oh man, Sasuke <laughs> grabs the mic. Man, talk about horrible stuff happening. My brother killed my entire family. Sasuke was basically split in half and made into Kilua and Karapika in Hunter Hunter. Like different aspects of his character. Yeah. Oh man, if Sasuke was basically Kilua, I think people would be more warmed up to him. Yeah. Because Kilua had a better attitude than Sasuke. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna kill my brother. <laughs> he joked about, oh, I'm gonna kill my brother and collect the reward money. Oh, okay. Good for you, Kilua. Man. Oh, that was a waste. Does JoJo have a whole lot of melodrama? No, not really. No. Like, people get intense when they're fighting each other, but it's not usually personal. 
Yeah, they just they don't really reflect on like their pasts a whole lot. They just they just are like are like yeah, let's keep going. Roshi. Got some mystic vestments. Dragon Ball Z. Uh, what is the melodrama like in Dragon Ball Z? Not very heavy. The most of it was like uh, when Vegeta gave his speech about how Frieza killed their whole race. Oh yeah, that's right. Well, that was, and you know what? That was understandable because Frieza killed their whole fucking race. Yes, that was very personal. Yeah. Ally to good, nightmare to you. We have to visit Steve Harvey. He's blocking our progress. Why are you in this dark tower, for dude. fun and games? Can you tell who someone is just from a mere glance? Why not play Curtain Conundrum? I guess I could uh, say don't play if I wanted to. Just... I have three questions for you. Name something you would see in a hotel bathroom. Oh, that Joe. Was Joe. No, that's not Joe. He's standing up. Oof. Uh, Vaporeon. Vaporeon. That stupid Eddie me. This is the easiest one. Oh. Toon Link? That's it, Link. You thought it was Toon Link, but it was me, Dio! <laughs> I, I think one of my favorite first season JoJo uh, stuff was when uh, they thought they got Dio for reals after that fight scene. He reappears on the boat, is just ahead, and he goes, and he's like, You know, I used to hate you, but I respect you now, JoJo. <laughs> just... Yeah. Remember when we found out the uh, OVA had uh, Satoshi Kone involved? Oh yeah, that's right. And we're like, yeah, it, it, you know what? The OVA had a better teleportation. It explains like, some of the like unsettlingness yeah. of the way it was directed. Yeah. I think he storyboarded it. I might be misremembering. And another split in the party. Uh, more things change. What do we got? Floral gown. Okay, sure. That sounds valuable. Man, yeah, I, I just like the fact that everybody oh. in, uh, everybody in the My Hero Academia verse just... It just loves their melodrama, and anybody else would just have no time for their shit. Just... It's unique to it, too. Like, that's not something yeah. that American comics do that much. No, it was just... It was more focused on the action and just the witty banter. Fuck, even, even uh, the other co like American comic space show, One Punch Man, didn't, doesn't do a whole lot of, like... Dumb melodrama. What was the older one? Hero Man. Hero Man. Wasn't that a wasn't that a manga and anime that was uh, based on like Western superheroes, like long before One Punch Man? And I uh, wouldn't know. I have never heard of that. Hero Man. No, I haven't. Hero Man anime. Manga anime series created by Marvel Stan Lee. No, oh, well, I guess you're wrong. <laughs> it says manga anime series, though. Created by Stan Lee. And Bones. Manga is published in Square Enix's magazine. Bones is Inc. Okay. is a Japanese animation studio. Stan Lee came up with a series basic plots. Or base, the series basic plot. And then I guess the Japanese guys took care of the rest? Okay. Interesting. Alright, it's a hero man. I don't written, know what that's about. Written by Stan Lee and illustrated by Tomon Ota. Holy Cyborg 009. 
It does kind of look like him, yeah. Alright. Orphaned American boy Joey lives with his grandmother his working at a restaurant Joe. in the west coast city of Sinner City. Sinner City? <laughs> Wait, Not that... Sin City! Center City. Oh. While going to school, he, he upon hearing of a new toy robot called the Haybo, Joey believes that getting one will make his life better, turning him into a hero to protect his friends and family. However, he can't afford to buy it on his meager salary. His luck changes when he picks up a broken down Haybo abandoned by a school bully. He tries to fix it, name it Hero Man, but does not have any luck in getting it to work. However, when it gets struck by a bolt of strange lightning, he transforms into a giant robot just in time to save his save his friend Alina from impending danger. Now Joey and Hero Man are Earth's only defense against the evil insectoid Scrug aliens, unknowingly summoned to Earth by Joey's science teacher. There are some differences in story between the anime and manga. Oh, okay. It's 26 episodes. We could t potentially run, like, watch it. Oh, it was, uh, it was a 2010 series. Wait, it was? The anime, I mean. I don't know when the manga was... Oh, the manga was serialized in 2009. Huh. I thought it was earlier than that. I guess not. So when not... was... When was Academia and, uh... Can I ask you something about mages? Can you really fly on brooms? Do I have to explain to. physics to you again? That's it. That's a very Lena answer. There had to have been other series, other anime series that were uh, based on like, uh, Western comic books. Started course. serialization in 2014, so Hero Man came first so far. I'd imagine so. But... Uh, One Punch Man started in 2009. Really? Early 2009, yeah. I didn't know it was that old. Well, the webcomic was... The webcomic was started in 2009, and, uh... The manga comic? remake was 2012. Huh. But yeah, it edged it out. It edges... Either way, it edges My Hero Academia out, but not, uh, Hero Man, if you count the, uh... The manga starting. I thought the manga was... Oh, the manga was also 2000. Nine? The uh, manga, the web manga was uh, 2009, the remake was uh, 2012. The Hero Man manga was 2009. The Hero Man manga was 2009. Let me, let me check. Uh, September. Uh, it said uh, One Punch Man was early 2009, so I think that it might have beaten Hero Man by a few months. Right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna... Banshee Brain Box. There's probably like a like a watch mojo list of anime based on Western superheroes or something. I'm looking I'm looking at it and Astro Boy, I guess, is the closest thing that that it comes to. Not, not really though. What'd you say, really? Not really, though. That's like that's not based on West Western superhero tropes. Ultraman. Ultraman, maybe. That's just a Japanese superhero series. I kind of always got that impression from. Uh, Ultimate Muscle, but that was supposed to be parodying wrestling. Oh, you mean Kinnaku Man? Yeah. Yeah, let me check that out. How do you hate a, a, a chocolate biscuit? Kinnaku Man began as a spoof of superheroes in the vein of Ultraman. Huh. Okay, but then 
shifted his story arc to become a semi-serious story where professional wrestling is serious business and use it to determine the fate of the world. Why am I not watching this? That's quite a change. So it was a parody of Japanese superheroes. Uh, superhero. I have to know what what kind of fucking like anime. Okay, wait, what? TV tropes. Usually, I, I respect you, but what are you talking about? What is TV trope saying? Um, uh, TV tropes has a list of. I I went to the superhero. Uh, page. Yeah, and I went to anime and manga tab, and um, what, what's tagged there? And on A was Attack on Titan. It's a stretch. That that's gonna be including like every anime. <laughs> Bubblegum Crisis, Card Captor Sakura, Cutie Honey, Darker Than Black. So it's just a list of every single single series where good guy Carpa fights Pearl bad guy. Z. Okay, that that makes sense. Devil Man. Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball. <laughs> Good guy fights bad guy. It's a superhero show. Helsing. Giver. Okay, maybe Giver. Kill a kill. What's Devil Man about? Um, I think it's a guy who becomes a devil and he fights other devils. Let me see. I, I, I like the part where he fought Frieza and saved the world. Looks <laughs> Devil Man is a manga and anime franchise enormously popular and influential in Japan for combining superhero tropes with supernatural and religious horror. Oh, so it's uh, it's like Japanese Ghost Rider. Okay. I was thinking like or Spawn, too. Uh, I was the Dark Lord, and I made it's so, so many, many people, people suffer. <laughs> Ganondorf can never apologize enough. I remember everything. I had no control over my own body. All I could do was watch the Dark Lord's evil doings. Must have been tough. That's rough, buddy. What? That was your theory for Merrick in Yu-Gi-Oh. No, uh, you, uh, Bakura. Bakura. Like, the entire time that uh, the evil spirit... Oh, dear. Was, oh, like, my. What's he doing now? I can't believe you've done this. It's the little, little British Bakura's inside watching the evil one. Who is actually the Dark Lord Zork with his so monster weird. dragon so cock? <laughs> what an arc the end of Yu-Gi-Oh was. That was gr it was great. By the way, uh, it, it said it was created by the infamous Go Nagai, the it, Devil it, Man. Oh, Go Nagai. What else did he do? Uh did a devil man obviously <laughs> one of his other works is titled Kama Sutra okay not the actual Kama Sutra but that she adventure manga of a similar vein to Indiana Jones with the famed book as one of the plot points Indiana Bones <laughs> Apparently he was the one who uh, who popularized and uh, built upon the uh, naughty tentacles uh, trope in oh. anime. What an achievement! Yeah. Yep. It, you, you remember? You know how uh, you know how people talk about anime? Like, oh, the tentacle porn. Yeah. Going to guy was the one who uh, who invented that. And if he didn't, um, someone else would have. They call oh. <laughs> The Roger Corman of manga and anime. Okay, who is Roger <laughs> Corman? Uh, the king of the B movie. Okay, B movies such as what? Uh, let me let me see films. Uh, Death Race two thousand, Chopping Mall. Didn't Death Race two thousand have like a really bad PC game? Yes. Oh, Kuroshi, uh, you're beautiful. You look like a Vocaloid. Mask of Red Death, Little Shop of Horrors. Okay. The Raven movie. Was Death uh, Race 2000 Vin Diesel? No, no, Death Race 2000 uh, was not Vin Diesel. It actually was like one of the first movies that had, uh, that starred Sylvester Stallone. But no, it wasn't starring, he was a, a character. 
It starred David Carradine. Was that the one that Robot Chicken parodied? Death uh, Race 2000? Maybe. Yeah, with, uh... With all the racing characters. Yes, yeah. Yeah, that's the one. Lena drinks tears. Attack of the... Carnosaur. Is that like Velocipaster? Uh, oh, that's something we could find and watch. Velocipaster. That'd Do you think cool. that'd get taken off YouTube? Uh, let me see. I'm I'm think we're probably safe with the Christmas movie we're thinking of. Velocipaster. Let's see if it's in full on YouTube. I don't remember how recent it that is. movie is. All oh, great. hour and ten minutes of it. Perfect. We can find out what the ninjas are doing on the cover. But yeah, go into guy. Uh, what else did go into guy do? What is cutie honey? I keep seeing that pop up. I've heard the name before. I don't know anything right about it. Right now, you are cutie honey. You are a super android that has the power of humans times seven. Oh, magical girl warrior, Donna. Okay. Okay. Wow, this guy did everything. Oh, he did the Jushin Liger anime! Is that a wrestler? Yeah, you know, Jushin, Jushin Thunder Liger, he was like, the one of the most popular Japanese wrestlers. Do you think that's who Ataru's dad liked? Uh, maybe. I, I, he struck me as more of an All Japan guy, my, like, though. Huge explosion. Oh, sh hey, there we go! We learned the Dragon Slave! Huge explosion. I want to know Iron what makes Virgin Ganondorf tick. Dune. Lena wants to learn oh, the magical ways of Ganondorf. Alright, who do we uh -oh. got? Princess, Princess, and King Peter. Princess, Princess. Doesn't this wait until after dinner? Same guy who brought you devil, man. Strong How'd I get on Peter this Gollum. Track? How do we get what? How do I get on this track? Uh, oh yeah, I was devil looking man. up uh, superheroes. Yeah. Uh, what, what else do, is there on this list? Fate stay. <laughs> get the fuck out of here, Fate stay <laughs> That's my favorite superhero series. Gantz. <laughs> It's my favorite superhero series. <laughs> Whoops, sorry. Gantz. <laughs> Paranoia Agent. It's my favorite superhero series. That's not on... I don't see that. That one's actually closer, because the guy was actually, like, using superhero tropes. Uh, Cashern. Yeah? Yeah. He's in the same vein uh, as, like, Cyborg Neon Genesis Evangelion. <laughs> Uh, pretty cure. Sailor Moon, yeah, whatever. Sure. Uh, Saint Seiya. So they're magical girl, I think. I think that's like magical boy. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. That's the one I'm thinking of. Samurai Flamenco. It's another one I've heard the name of, but I don't know anything about it. Alright. Tengen Tapa Gurren Lagen. It's just a list of all action anime. Not all, not every single one of them. I don't see Rony Kenshin on here. It's an incomplete list of all action anime. Not Rony Kenshin's not on here. Uh, Samurai Shampoo's not on here. Uh, I guess the logic is that the characters have to have superhuman powers, but Kenshin does. Vaguely. You know what else I don't? You know what else I don't see on here? Bleach. Yeah. Yu Yu not on here. Again, it's just an incomplete list. Wait, literature? I guess there's superhero literature. Okay. What is this June thing you posted? Oh yeah, that that was uh, something I found. Not that uh, Go Nagai did. 
and I'm like, it's uh, it was called Iron Virgin June. Okay. Yeah. I it, I don't know anything about it because DB Chirps is not giving me. Oh, by the way, uh, Ganondorf is like a pathetic surf. He does no damage. Oh, but he lost all his powers. <gasps> Are we alive? We're alive, yeah. Still in one piece. Is one piece on there? No, I I, I checked. It, it isn't. That's about pirates. Hey, yeah, what's your yeah, point? Cash and sins is about robots. Yeah, well, nobody can transform, and uh, a lot of these have like transformations, and people can fly, and basically, oh, is it like Superman? Well, okay. You've saved our royal bacon again. Also, uh, Goku had an origin story. He's basically Japanese Superman. Unapologetically now. Yeah. Also, uh... Oh, Golden Bat. Yeah, he's like one of the first, uh... He's like the first... is Japan's first superhero. Like, yeah. actual superhero. Skull Man. <laughs> Man. Everyone thinks that I'm a, that I'm evil because of my power, but I look like a villain. Oh man, I could see why they they would say Attack on Titan, considering that fucking Aaron Yeager can transform into a Titan. Spoilers. You know what? You know what though? Yeah. If it was just Aaron Yeager in like DC or Marvel or something, I could see him being like being like a, a superhero called the Titan or yeah. something where you can tr you can shift into a Titan and just and just fight like giant robots or something this is basically Ultraman Ultraman was able to change size dude Ultraman and fucking and, uh, and Aaron Yeager just teaming up to fight Godzilla or some shit I guess darker than black counts, considering it's a character donning a mask and a trench coat and like flying around. He's got a secret identity. Power most Girls Japanese definitely counts. Most Japanese heroes don't. Ichigo doesn't give a shit about a secret identity. That's why he's not listed as a superhero. But he oh, was. Big there was o Bleach is, was listed. Big O is listed. Big O dev used at least some amount of like Western tropes. Yeah, that counts. Uh. There's three Batman adaptations that are listed. Oh my god! <laughs> Apparently they have a Justice League manga. Okay. Yeah, here it is. Look at look at look at Superman. Oh my god, he's by Shonen. Yes. Be Shonen. By Shonen Superman. How's it supposed to be pronounced? Is it Bishonen? I don't know. You're 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 you are asking the complete wrong person. I mispronounce English words all the time, even. Uh, yeah, Astro Boy's listed on here as well. So I guess I guess they say yeah, superhero. I mean, yeah, it's a superhero. Uh, it's just a redundant list because it's not it's not focused on anything. It's just all the good guys v bad guys series. Good guys v bad guys, people with an origin story. Uh, people who are generally like considered a like aces and they fight what they call Gans would have to be like a deconstruction. Why is it fucking? Why is it's sci Jack, it's, it's your mileage may vary. It's a bad list. That's the bottom line I'm trying to get at. Sorry. Stop uh, defending it. Like, by shonen, not be shonen? Okay, are, are you sure? Because it's a Japanese word. Japanese superhero anime. I am... I have typed that down. And I will see... Well, that's still not... Because that's including Japanese superheroes. The original question was... 
you know, anime that use Western hero tropes. Apparently... Oh, okay, so... So I'm looking at this list. This, is, this list is a lot better, because it actually tells me what the fuck Samurai Flamingo is. And it is a, a superhero story, because it's a dude who dresses up as a superhero and stops crimes despite not having any superpowers. Okay. And, it, and a cop is just apparently encouraging him. Being like, yeah, oh, you do you, buddy. I don't know that cop was just following Baki around all the time. He just kind of stopped appearing. Yeah. No, the, because uh, because Spec killed him apparently in the very beginning. Did he? Yeah. Now, would you consider Sailor Moon to be a superhero show? I mean, it is a magical girl show, which is a subgenre of superheroes. Yeah. They they're more fighting about fighting like supernatural monsters than uh, like supervillains. Yeah. Can you imagine, like, like Sailor Moon and the crew at fighting, like, not like a world-ending threat that, like, creates monsters, but, like, a cabal of, like, of, like, bank robbers or some shit? That would be That was mostly just Sailor V, Sailor Venus, had, like, yeah. that brief period where she fought, uh, like, regular villains, regular criminals. Yeah. Pretty laid back as well as damn right I am. You hide behind your teammates. That's cause I don't want to get hurt. I envy you. I, Medusa, get it! She's got lots of uh. eyes. Kill them all. Apple comes out with a product called the iRobot, and Will Smith trembles. I guess that would make keep Magic Madoka Magica. I guess that would make that the Watchmen of uh, the Sailor Moon's, uh, like, DC. Yeah. Fifteen most bonkers superheroes from Japan. I, I, so these, none of these are my characters, Elrog, so I can't even choose to not auto-battle. You only wow. control your player character. Hey! I just remember, we forgot about the greatest Japanese superhero of them all. I can't believe not, neither one of us remembered him. Uh, Shanghai Superman? No, Action Bastard. Oh yeah, he exists. He was a show within the con the continuity of Shin-Chan, though, so... Yeah, but... <laughs> what the fuck? What? Okay, I'm just gonna leave- I'm just gonna leave this image here out of context. Here. Hitler's treasure! <laughs> Alright, which boss is this? Uh, it's not a boss, it's just a couple of owls. Are they able to petrify people? Get this treasure. Oh, I fucked up my desktop. Okay, I just saw the, the name of the image. Common Rider X Hitler. So this is something from Common Rider. Uh Common Rider X is the name of the uh 
of the show. Oh. Uh, yeah. But apparently, Common uh, Rider X is known for being especially weird. Why is Common Rider X so legendary? It's not so much the hero himself as the ridiculous villains from the evil organization G.O.D. that he fights. These baddies include Spider Napoleon, Ant Capone, and most infamously Starfish Hitler. Okay. Combining legendary bad guys from history with random animals is certainly one way to go about making them memorable villains. Hey, how about when we found out that Hitler was a quasar? God. Oh, man. I want to go to Cornyn's room. <laughs> there was a superhero in Japan called Messenger of Allah. Okay. Sure, be inclusive. <laughs> what was the movie yeah, you were talking about during the Tony Hawk stream? Uh, the one you found with your dad on recently. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Uh. uh... Uh, African Kung Fu Nazis. That was the one. Yeah. African-made B Kung Fu movie. Yeah, and I forgot that uh, the, the soundtrack includes uh, people randomly chanting out, Kung Fu! Kung Fu! African Kung Fu! Kung Fu Nazis! Okay. Just... You gotta have a theme tune. Yeah, that's, that's his theme tune. And, uh... Again, the fight scenes weren't weren't uh, totally bad. They were actually kind of kind of good. You're talking about the the Nazis movie. Yeah. No, they actually seemed like they studied martial arts. Mango's saying you guys find it funny you guys bring up Quasar so much for the plot, considering what most people remember it for. <laughs> it, the plot is insane! It's it, That's what I remember it, about it's, it. It's, it's just... easy to be sexy, though. It's easy to be etchy. Like, the weird... It... It's the weird shit that made the show memorable. Yeah, the fucking... We gotta get the feel uncle of some sorry sin. <laughs> Which is apparently a painting. We're gonna summon a castle. With the, <laughs> the SARS crowning. <laughs> oh, oh no, we're, we're losing. Send the Helium Brothers after them. <laughs> oh, we lost the it Helium was, it Brothers. It was bizarre, the Russians. but it wasn't like offensive bizarre, like no, Queen's Blade kind of was. Yeah, it's not. It's not offensive. It's just. It's just incredibly fucking weird. I wish I had a little extra gold so I could give Jack his frying pan, but I do not. No, damn, damn right, you better give me my fucking... what B Stars is like. Wasn't that written? I think it, I heard it was written by the daughter of the author of another famous manga. Hold on, let me check. Uh, looking it up. The person who created B Stars is the daughter of Kisuke Itagaki. Who made. Baki. Oh, okay, that was it. <laughs> I'm just picturing Baki, both animals now. I don't imagine there's that much crossover, necessarily, but. Who knows? Is 
another one of those weird anime relationships, like how the, uh, the Sailor Moon and Yu Yu Hakusho authors are married. Yeah. Interesting. Which apparently they've, uh, they've give, given nods to in, like, more recent animation from the two. Like, that recent Yu Yu Hakusho OVA, I think, had, uh, like, Yusuke had a copy of the Sailor Moon manga in his room or something. Oh, yeah? I, want, I saw a panel oh. of, like, Sailor Moon with, uh, like, a, a Yu Yu Hakusho or Hunter reference in it. I wonder what, the, what that's been doing lately. Has there been, like, a recent Sailor Moon thing made? I guess Crystal. Yeah, Crystal, and then I think that's it. Let me check. New skill, Safety Mask! Uh, the most recent thing was the Sailor Moon on Ice show. Oh, okay. That needed to exist. Yeah, it was set to debut in uh, June, but was postponed to next year due to COVID. I wonder what the, what the Yoma costumes are gonna look like. <laughs> I hope I hope they're like I hope they're like really elaborate. Because that would be impressive if somebody was doing elaborate ice skating tricks, but they're all decked out in some heavy fucking costume. They look like Dragon Dragon. <laughs> Sailor Moon. <laughs> fucking Dragon Dragon. Sailor Moon fights the fucking Dragon Dragon costume. <laughs> That's what the stage shows in Japan are like, though, right? What? That's what the kids' stage shows in Japan are like, though, right? There's just those goofy costumes. Yeah, it's fun. It's like a fun thing for kids to do a lot. A lot of inns in this evil tower. Got some more HP sprinkles. MP candy, no thanks. Man. So how how close are we? <laughs> well, we're about to reunite the parties. Ah, nuts! Odd bird costume. O okay. Kimono cat. Kimono jacket cat suit. Yeah, you're behind on equipment. Yay, you got a jet cat suit. Awesome. Boring. I don't want to read Devil Man now. It seems pretty fucked up. Yeah. It's just like. Are you just like looking into bits of lore from it? Yeah. Apparently, it's like it's like as dark as like uh... Berserk. Kind of. It's the, oh, Dark, Dark Mario! Mario. Yeah, 
And then an evil Mario with red eyes jumped out. And he was evil! Once again, no control over the party. I just have sprinkles. Nope, can't let that happen. Pharaoh's going to quarantine. Get over your pharaohness, please. We have to go to a hospital to get this uh, status effect cleared. So, like mushrooms. Yeah. Well, you know what? At least with mushrooms, if you you can get rid of it by uh, by having somebody pluck pluck them out of your head, and you get fifty bucks for. Uh, That's right. They're valuable mushrooms. Yeah. Cat pharaoh. Team Four Star put out a uh, like a little Halloween short. And they had a oh yeah, they had a good Beerus voice. It was spot on. Nice. Take that! Finally. How much is there? What are we fighting for? Well, we're just reuniting, so maybe we're at the top. This is the, the best kind of stream is when the streamers keep saying, Is it over yet? No, it'll be great. It'll be worth it. We'll get a pot of gold at the very end. Gotta go and take that sucker out. Not that I'm back to my evil ways or anything. <laughs> take some free money. What else are we watching? We haven't watched them yet, but we found out that there are... Uh, there are two Hunter Hunter movies for the 2011 series. And there was like, uh, there's a pilot episode. There was like a 30 minute animation that was made before the first series. Yeah. So I'm curious what that looks like. The first ever animated Hunter. Well, it'll be interesting to watch. Apparently the first of the two movies was uh, adapted from an unfinished script idea from Togashi. Oh. Huh. I wonder, I wonder uh, how, di I, I mean, I am curious to see how different it is, if it's like, if it's like Gon acts like kind of nicer, or if he acts meaner or something. For the, the pilot episode? Yeah. How, like, the animation quality probably might be a bit better, or could be a bit worse. Oh, probably. If, if it's they still a, use the Celtic music? If it's an early pilot, then I'm sure it'll be, uh, I'm, I'm sure it'll, it'll look a little lower budget, probably, but... I don't know, it's an OVA, which means they would have less time crunch to worry about. So who knows? Yeah. When are we releasing it? When we release it? Remember how jarring the difference in animation looked with the old JoJo series? Yeah. So yeah. Even just between the two of them. Like, one of the two... I think the... Was the 2000s one the ultra manly one? Yeah, that was the one where everybody looked, uh, really, uh, manly. It was very square-jawed. Yeah. Also, uh, Joseph had blonde hair. D yeah, he did. That was weird. And, and Yaba was hot for some reason. Oh no, I just used this young lady's disguise! Man. Yeah. 
I really wonder how many uh, musicians have ever watched JoJo and how they feel about the things they're tied to. How would Enya feel about Enyaba? <laughs> how would uh, Beach Boy? How would the Beach Boys feel about fucking? I don't know. Ask Mike Love. I hear he's a nice dude. I'm sure he wouldn't sue. See, that's why they change it. Well, in English, it, they tries. They tried to like if Mike Love tried to sue in Japan, the Japanese courts would be like, "You have no power here." Oh, I just realized, apparently Ninja Scroll is, uh, award-winning. I- yeah, I'm not surprised. It's very famous. Yeah, I've never seen it. I- maybe I'll have to watch it. I just imagine it's like Sword for Truth, but better. <laughs> that same kind of genre, though. <laughs> Sword for I Truth got the feeling better. that Sword for Truth was really trying to be Ninja Scroll, from what I know of Ninja Scroll. It's fucking, it's like, dumb, it's like, bad ninja scroll. Word explorer Will Smith. Here we are above the clouds. I feel like a deity all the way up here. Like some kind of genie or something. Worship me, you puny mortals! What? What are you doing, Will Smith? Oh, hi. Been a while, Explorer Will Smith at your service. You've climbed a long way. You say you're going farther up. You'd better take the stairs. Did you know? Right at the top, there's a treasure vault. You'll need to remember this phrase. Take the hidden road to find the secret treasure hoard. Oh, okay. Thanks, Will Smith. Thanks, Will Smith. So he gave us a similar hint in a previous part of the game. And I, I didn't... I didn't do whatever it was on screen, but I later found out there was just, like, a, a hidden... an invisible path on the overworld that you could take. <laughs> so we'll get some free money before the uh, Darker Lord. What are you get? What are you two talking about? What are you two talking about? Fond, Fond memory. Mem hey, remember when I kicked that dude's ass? Squad Eleven barbecue. Then what happened? Yeah, I tell you about the time I cut a castle in half. can't even sell the... It used to be we could sell the Jolly Jaunt tickets, but we can't anymore. Because we can't have a room with just one person in it. <laughs> a dead end. No, there's a... Do we need to go back and grab another fuck? Oh. Mmm. Well, we've got three ways the thing could be. Everyone likes Nathan. Except I'm gonna have to try to, uh, I'm gonna have to, like, transfer all my Mario Maker level over, levels over somehow. Hmm. That's the one thing I'm still gonna have to try to figure out how to do. How? Oh my 
my god. The longest dungeon in the world. We've only been going two hours. I kind of figured it might be like a three hour stream. Yeah. I hope that... Oh, I didn't expect you to be here already. Uh, I, 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 wow. I assume we'll find the thing on one of these paths, then go through, and that'll be it. Probably, maybe. Yeah, that that probably sounds about right. Are these like the the pink bombs in Paper Mario? Also, I like how Kenpachi now has a fist sword. Sword, <laughs> quote unquote. It's just a giant fist. Hey, can I be in Dragon Ball now? Swords aren't allowed there, right? Oh, there's one hidden path. Oh man, somebody described a uh, horror manga as, uh, summarized as, Lost, but as a manga. <laughs> yeah? Oh, does that make you want to read it? No. I'm tempted to, to describe Star Versus as that in some ways. The, Lost, the, but as a cartoon? The first season was very episodic cartoony, except one thing that kind of had me worried is that there was a lot of... There was a lot of plot ends that weren't tied up in season one. Oh. They, like, they, they just kind of left an episode with an ominous cliffhanger, and then never referenced it again. Oh. And it'll probably be stuff that comes up later, but it's just very bizarre that a show would do that and not finish it in the same season. Maybe, maybe that's like a plot point. It, ha it happens enough that I kind of get the impression that they're just kind of they're just leaving questionable shit to happen. That they think maybe we'll be able to do something with this with the story later. Maybe we won't. Oh well. Well, like that's, if there was that's... an ominous close-up of uh, I, I don't know Vegeta looking at at, uh, at some, a device Bulma had made, and then it just never comes up again. There was no significance to him looking at that device and that ominous ominous music playing. Chikov's gun. That, that's the word. That's the one, yeah. Hero flask. Halloween uniform. It's too, too late, buddy. You're, uh, you're a month too late for that. Uh, I guess I'll get it because it's cheap. It, it's on sale now. to like walk around for a minute no i'm just i just you sound sorry. half asleep no i'm just i'm just uh trying to trying to find where the line between superhero comic and horror comic begins and ends why not both the, the, the attack on titan according to tv tropes kind of yeah yeah i i don't know like Apparently, uh, you remember, uh, you, we were talking earlier about, uh, Xeno Gears. Yeah, the Xeno how, uh, series. So it was divided into two discs. The first disc was, like, a standard, uh, like, art, like, JRPG. Are you talking about and Xeno then, Gears specifically? Yeah. And then the second disc in Xeno Gears was a series of scenes, a series of people sitting on chairs talking, and then the final, a series of boss battles, and then the final dungeon. Okay. Interesting, uh, difference. Apparently they pulled resources from, uh, from that team to work on a Final Fantasy game, and that's why that happened. Oh, okay. I so guess that makes rushed. sense, because, uh, was Xenogears the first one in the series? I think it was. Yeah, it was the first one. And it was intended, it, it was proposed as a plot for Final Fantasy VII. Yes. 
It was a it was proposed as a plot of a Final Fantasy game, which you know, I think I think that it would have been a better. Well, no, maybe not. Gan Ganondorf was doing his day to day job, and he heard a voice. I'll give you power, it said. Turn you into a most powerful being. I was so tempted by that voice. Led me to open a forbidden box. Something black flew out into it's just Wuya. <laughs> it's just literally Wuya. Stole my body and turned me into the evil Dark Lord. Are you listening? Yeah, that I'm listening. Sounds, sounds terrible. terrible. By the way, the person the curse has hold of now is Great Sage Christopher Lee. My mentor. Not the Great Sage. Everyone's very curious about Ganondorf. Kenpachi's tired and cranky. Sorry. Aww. <laughs> this game, except the little interactions that we get from time to time, are written by the Pulp Fiction writers. Oh yeah, that would be that'd be pretty funny if it was just Quentin Tarantino RPG. Who wants gum? Y'all like gum? Corin likes gum. I like gum. Holly, I thought no, he he didn't buy the thing last time. Here, buy your leaf, Karoshi. <laughs> Always the last one you check. Go ahead without Not me! Again. No! Uh. Well, I gotta love those random events. Maybe I can cut one of these out early. Damn it! No, I'm dancing! Stop! <sighs> Come on! Kill them! Man, it's one of those things where it's just like, I would hope that the battle would like up with like great craters and like continents or something but it's gonna be this again what with the darker lord yeah like a mountain gonna get cut in half and we would truly be slayers yes wanted to cheese it, but that didn't work out at all. Because I got a 50% one-hit KO. Dinner. 
Oh, oh that I lowers friendship. No, I thought you liked it spicy. I guess Kenpachi doesn't. Oh, hey, Ganondorf helped. He gave us a banana. I don't think they do that. Branching paths again. I got the golden tablet. Finally, we can we can go back to that door. You know the best kind of games are the ones that feel like filler. <laughs> Oh, Nothing we we need to pad the gameplay. Put, I don't know, an artifact in the way. Make him go find it. Action RPGs wouldn't have had this problem. Maybe, I don't know. Utopia is an action RPG. <laughs> Utopia, There's nothing stopping yeah. them. Even, like, something like Lost Vikings. What, explosion lab gear? I wonder what that looks like. Hmm. wonder if that automatically happens if you go down the last path, regardless of which one you chose. I doubt it. Wait, I think we just got unlucky. Yeah, let's try it. No, it was the wrong tablet. Better go find the other one! Broken in half. Wait, that's just a treasure chest? This better be something we need. Like, a key to the staircase or something? Hero, okay. It's an item. It's not something I've ever heard someone called before. Brain box? Brain box. Oh. Egghead! Brain box. Technically, Ataru Moroboshi saved the world from invaders. Does that make it a superhero show? <laughs> He's got gog gag manga superpowers. Maybe, maybe if he had like a cape and a mask. By the most basic definition, it, like a, a superhero series is anything where they do heroic stuff and they have superhuman powers. <laughs> ba -ba -da -ba. Some tears, Lena. They will sustain you. Drink the tears. I got some more money. Hero spear. Hero gown. I, I maybe that's the final sure. outfit for them. Maybe. Hero spear, but you're a villain. No, I will be. I choose to be a hero. I'm whatever I want to be. <laughs> Ultima. Oh, yeah. <gasps> Ultima. Oh, god damn. Well, okay. That, that's fine. We can still make money. Cash. Mm -hmm. 
Come back when you have more rubies. <laughs> oh, we get the full price for it. More cash. Nope. No, I did want to play again. Okay, good. Something was, uh, Najima was recommended to me recently. Or Negima? Negima, Sensei? Yeah. So I'm, oh, yeah. I I've might of it. try that after, I don't know, after I finish Star. Hmm. Apparently it's by the same author as Love Hina, which is not a great sign, but I, I, I guess it's supposed to be a lot better and has more of a, like, continuity. Love Hina was a very strange series because it it hinged a lot, to, like too much, on that kind of like dumb hijinks tropes like Ranma does, and it was really a, like obvious about it. But then every now and again, it would have like a really dark plot point, like weirdly so for that kind of series. Yeah, are we talking? How, how bad are we talking? Well, one of the one of the characters, the first thing that comes to mind was uh, one of the characters is like a, a middle school girl who has like really, r really bad home life. Oh and yeah. She, and she like uh, she just kind of gets attached to this apartment building and the people who live there, and she wants to live there away from her parents, like em emancipation. And there's a whole like very kind of, very sad arc about how them them trying to work that out, which they do eventually, and she's one of the tenants there. But it's still a very serious thing to be addressing for what is basically a very silly, basically harem series. Yeah, I, I isn't doesn't uh, Love Hina have like a have like a really bad Sundari in it? I don't think she's she's really bad. It's odd because she's. A lot outwardly nicer than what you would usually call a Sundere. Ah. But then she still has that rare moment where it uses the super enraged punch. Yeah. Yep. I would have liked to sell that. Unfortunately, we have 10 characters and we can't have anyone in a room alone. Unfortunate. Be nice if there was always just a sell option. I, I wonder what, if anything, they'll be doing with Mies just because uh, they've basically not been utilized in any Switch games. Maybe they'll be phased out like any other Nintendo gimmick. I kind of get that impression. Unfortunately, I would I would love this uh, Tomodachi sequel, and I and I like the way they work in Smash, but who knows if they'll continue to be around or not. Avatars in general have kind of phased out. Like Xbox doesn't use those anymore. Jack, I'm trying to think about that. Like. Because I, I think I think Mies are dead. Yeah. Honestly, I think they're gonna. I think that they've gone the way. Because they're still being used for for Smash. Did they make any more recently? Let me check. They haven't really appeared in 
any games recently, except for, like, a couple like Mario Kart, I think. Yeah. Oh, and I'm also thinking of, uh, uh I, I'm sorry, I was, I was, I temporarily confused Mies with, uh, the, uh, statuette stuff. What are they called? Statuette? The Amiibos? statues. Amiibos, yeah. Oh, those are still being made, at least. Okay, but yeah, yeah now that I think about it, people haven't been, games haven't been using Mies except for Smash. So... They want us to do. Uh, Unless it is on one of those branching paths. That'd be weird, aren't we? Okay. <clears throat> oh, the newest uh, amiibos are Cat Mario and Cat Peach coming next year. Okay. Well, I know they're still making uh, Smash Amiibos as they come out with new characters. Like, there's a Banjo one being made. Hero, Joker, Dark Samus, Richter. It's gonna be weird to see a Steve Amiibo from Nintendo. <laughs> Maybe they won't make one. I'm sure they will for all the, all the characters that come out. Hmm. Yay. <sighs> Please open the thingy. Okay, yes, it was on one of the branch paths we didn't take. God damn it. <sighs> I hate it when that happens. <clears throat> Who's sick? Is it Zelos? No, it's me. Didn't Will Smith say go up the stairs, up from the treasure chest? I tried that. We needed to pull that lever to get that path that went up the stairs. <laughs> Delicious. Nails. You remember that five-part Flash series called Mario Brothers? Uh, no. That was the one where uh, where it was all eight-bit and had orchestral music, and it and it was like just uh, Bowser versus Mario and Luigi, and there was like epic fights. If not, I got I gotta show it to you. Yeah. Because it was I remember that, and I remember it being pretty uh, tragic. Hero sword. Damn right you're getting a hero sword. Hero sword. Oh wow, that thing looks pretty sweet. In his stupid sparkle monster costume. Hey Pachi, what are you wearing? Yachiru bought it for me. I didn't want to be rude. <laughs> Uh, Judy, you're up! We've gotten 12 swords. Isn't it kind of weird that... I, I just thought of this. Isn't it kind of weird that Kenpachi uses his Zanpakuto, given that he doesn't really care about, like, the spirit or anything? You think he would well, just use whatever sword or weapon he bought? It's just, but he maybe did. The only thing that can actually harm Hollows, and he's like, it's the choice of either, of either not being able to harm anything at all, or I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Because you think he could use what, just whatever sword he he would want to. <laughs> Hey, uh, Kurosuchi, you think you can get me, a just a regular old sword? You've got a Zanpakuto, just use it! 
I want a really badass one with a chainsaw. Hibachi, you idiot. Just use your sword. Be gone! Two hundred <laughs> twenty thousand. Okay, great. Oh wow, that's a lot of cash. Gotta get them snurfs. Ganondorf's clothes are so fashionable. Oh, I well, thank you. They call me the prodigious postman. I have a letter Why? addressed to Mr. Zelrog. Why are you here? How are you here? That would be you, yes? Okay, bye, Mr. DeVito. Joyous day. My advice to you, smile in the face of adversary. Adversity. Oh, okay. Alright, sure. If only that were that easy, Rosalina. No one understands. That involved work, I thought. Oh, it's the Fab Fairies. What are they? Like a three-headed dragon? King Ghidorah? It's, uh... Osaka Pole. Oh, it's the frogs. Konata Pole. Ugh. Kill them all. Prepare yourself. Uh oh. Oh no! Well, shit. Uh oh. Finally, oh. a challenge. I can revive one of them, and then, because I am a mystic god, I can also revive the other one. didn't have the cleric class, I would just be fucked if someone went down. These lookouts are not doing anything in this battle. I thought I said time to eat for a second. He's taking in a big breath. That's probably a big attack, so... <laughs> oh, those are the tadpoles still shield? got a lot of health. I did use the shield. Okay. Still alive! Still alive! I guess the oh, tadpoles... No. Sorry, Lena. <laughs> Thank you, Ganon. Stay and down, Konata. And stay down. Got your mojo back. Straw hat tea time. <laughs> that came up again when uh, it was like uh, Nami and Jean Bay having their talk. Yeah, everybody else is just having tea. Straw, Straw hat, hat tea, tea time, time is very important. I think so. I 
<laughs> Sounds like something we I was would gonna do. say we would have had to. There's no way. Yeah. Uh Pokemon Gold Silver highlights are all out. Are all of them? Oh yeah, that's right. I watched it. Yeah, them. all three they parts. Are. Holy shit. Fucking fat Harry frog. It's got a lot it's got a big body. It was almost dead though. Here, have some MP. Plenty to go around. Use your big attacks. Please. Alright, dig into the power. The power of powder. Power of friendship. Everybody ganked the villain. Just surrounds him and starts punching and kicking him. That's yes, what it is when they're talking about the power of friendship, though. What? That's, yeah, that oh, is the power. Oh, thank you. I forget who voices Osaka. Two of these three characters are Wendy Lee. Hmm. Wait, uh, Calling Click and Beard was Rukia, right? Uh, no, that was Michelle Ruff. Okay. Calling Clink and Beard, I believe, was Luffy. Alright. Yeah, that makes sense. And also modern Goku and uh, Gohan. Like Kid Goku. Yeah. Modern Kid Goku and Gohan. It's still weird, because I cannot not hear Luffy when I hear them. I know. I know. I don't think we had any uh, flashbacks to Kid Goku or Kid Gohan in Super. Lena and fucking Promistein. Yeah, they look exactly the same there. I can't tell which one's which. Well, one of us will kill you if you piss her off, and the other one's a scientist who will also probably kill you if you piss her off. Oh, man. We'd either kill each other or be best friends. Yeah, that's Promistein. Sometimes she helps us, sometimes she tries to kill us. <laughs> I didn't give humanity fire just so some damn angels would take him out. Hero wand. Okay, sure. Sparkle ribbon magic. So this isn't Promistein based off of uh, Prometheus. Prometheus. Yeah. Hero flask. Ah, the flask of a hero. We shall all be heroes. What kind of hero thing do you want? A super flower. What does that look like? All right, sure. The Sakura Power Ranger. <laughs> Sorry, Promistein, no food for you. At least we're getting everyone. We have enough money to get everyone the hero equipment, at least. Guys, again, Steve Harvey? I'm here now. Bye. Just leave. Care for a brief round of fun and games before the evil villain. No. Are you sure? I am sure. Steve Harvey then starts punching you. You will do a round of fun and games! Kill me, Steve. Imagine one of those villains that tries to bargain with the hero before the fight. But instead <laughs> of doing it themselves, they just hire the, ho the, the host of Deal or No Deal. <laughs> that would be funny. Pop 
pop. Mega explosion! Yeah, that's how Elena usually handles a big group of mooks. Mega explosion! Fireball! <laughs> Hey, we, ra we actually ran out of bandits to steal from, so we had to resort to stealing from pirates. Sorry! What's the Dark Walking Lord's Walking artillery, goal? Lena Inverse. I think it's to make people suffer. The Dark Lord's heart, it's full of hatred, jealousy, and anger toward people. He's brimming with malice! Man, why don't we try talking to him? It's all my and, like, fault. Tell it, and, like, asking him what's wrong. It's okay, you can count on me. I'll take care of the evil Dark Lord. A surprise Steve Harvey boss fight would actually be the best twist in this game. Yeah, the Game Master was the villain all along. Him and the, 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 the connoisseur Dio. And adventurer Will Smith. They're act they were actually agents working for the bad guy. They're like the anti-party. <laughs> We've got lots of new powers. And Jack's all better. I'm better now. Yay. Too much Halloween candy. I went looking. I, I'm not seeing any of it on discount. I guess because of the pandemic, sc stores didn't stock up on as much this year. As much what? Halloween candy. Oh, yeah. They figured, no, it's probably not going to happen this time. Odd bird. Also, hello, Whipper. It's a strange looking duck. I, w I wonder how much influence a, a series like uh, Slayers had. Because you, you see. Like, Dragon Ball gets so much attention, and you hear all these authors who credit it for inspiring them. Hmm. I wonder that about other series. Like, what, what had an influence. Maybe Record of Lodless War? Of Lodos Lod War? Lodos War? Yeah, that one. I don't know anything don't... about that. Oh, Mexican Lena! <laughs> Lena! Oh. She needs the MP more. They had Halloween candy on sale. Ranger White! I kind of wish that the aesthetics of the suits weren't tied to stats. Then we could all raid the Darker Lord as just Power Rangers. Hmm. That would that would make sense. <sighs> Let's get this over with Steve Harvey. That's no attitude for games. Come on, have fun with it. I'm not here to have fun, Steve Harvey. I need to go save the world, Steve Harvey. Why not play no. Curtain Conundrum? No. Okay, fine. You I have a problem, that. Steve Harvey. He's actually working for the Dark Lord. He's trying this to sell you. Yeah, he's buying time. I... Hmm, who could that have been? Question two. Hmm. We're getting all the fourth seat faces. Come on, Kenpachi. I saw orange. Prickly Good. couple Lois. He did it. Oh, don't act so happy, me. And Jack is still mad. Uh, Kenpachi's still mad at Jack. Yep. Hopefully he gets over it before the final boss. Doom Sword and Doom Shield. 
Okay, are those ne those are the next bosses? From the Doom House. I'm not. Rep Doom House has been retired. I'm not referencing Doom House anymore. S slightly less hate. You okay, buddy? Sword word and shield burn. Oh, they weren't final bosses. Damn it. No, that was not the final boss of the game. That was those weren't like bosses. I mean Oh Fire Demon. Maybe I can take care of him quickly. Now this hasn't worked once this stream. No, it did work once. It worked on the snurf. There we go. If it works, then it's if great. It I've seen the light. Hello, Darian. Are those the next two Pokemon games? Uh, or what? Swordbird and Shieldbird? Those are- those are stupidly named characters in Sword and Shield. Doom's- oh, Doom Sword and Doom Shield. Yeah, those could be the director's cut versions. Although they're still doing DLC for Sword and Shield, so they might not bother with director's cut versions this time. Probably not. Or if they do, they'll wait a little while. They'll wait a little while and then, like, create, like, an ultra, like, uh, what is it, Animantium Sword and, uh, Mithril Shield. Include all the DLC. Yeah, and then add more DLC. Don't think that's gonna happen, though. Now watch it happen, because I said it's not gonna happen. Oh yeah, I would not be at all surprised. If there's an opportunity to make money, the Pokemon Company will do it. Nintendo will do it. I guess it depends on... Despite everyone's complaints, Sword and Shield were still the best-selling Pokemon games, so... If people are buying them, if people are buying them, then they'll keep doing what they're doing. Keep doing what they're doing. Be nice if you could speed up the sprinkles. Jack one shots a snake. <laughs> Fuck snakes, so you just aim for the head. Oh no, Jack! Hey, you all need to. It'll toughen you up! Eat the spicy food, it'll be great. Snake manure? <laughs> oh, who's sick? It's me again. It's always Zealous and Jack this stream. Yep. Well, you're gonna have to get better for the final fight. It, it requires ten people. Oh, man. You don't have ten people. Come back later. Not allowed to fight Razor unless you have a full party. What was that? That happened. That happened in, in Hunter Hunter, and it happened in Yu Yu Hakusho for a uh, game master. You have to come back with a full team of players, or you can't enter. Those our oh. cave, our rules. <laughs> Missing out on the shield grotten. Damn. Yeah. 
So, apparently, Darien's dropping uh, Doom lore. And the leader of Hell in Doom has been revealed. Oh, has it? It There's a Dark Doom Slayer, Jack. <laughs> dark, do evil Doom Slayer? According to Darien, it's just a naked Doom Slayer with tattoos and red eyes. Hold on, I gotta, I gotta see this. Are we sure it's not just another skin? Are we here? Well, Jack, you better get out of bed. Duty calls, brother. We're finally here. Dark Lord forced monsters to build this tower, and they did a wonderful job. It's very, it's beautiful. They wanted a place in the sky from which to look down upon Metopia. High, high up in a place called Otherworld. I believe you'll find the Darker Lord up there. There better not be another map. If there's another map, we're coming back to this. I can't go with you. The place is cursed. No okay. normal person could survive there for long. You'll have to leave me behind, I'm afraid. Okay, bye. Well, I see. We'll take care, then. Can I, Please. Can I view map? How much oh. more is there? Other world. Okay. Well, uh, Metopia was fun. <laughs> we gotta keep going. It's almost over. All right. Are you willing to? Are you willing to push through it? Yeah. All right. Let's do it. it. What is this place? Eyes, nose, mouth, glasses. Have these been stolen from someone's face? The Darker Lord is truly despicable. Ooh. What the? You gotta cure hiccups. Shorter area than the last one. Well, that's Space not saying Dominic. much. The last one was quite a lengthy area. Looks like a cartoon character. Uh, familiar. I I don't recognize it though. Tickets. More cash, although. <clears throat> Assuming we get a good wheel. Oh, man, there's an inn up here. Who runs an inn up here? Beerus. Koenma. Well, no normal human could survive up here. Am I fine now? Nope. Moton! Who are these people? And why are they asking for a bed? Just let us sleep here, man. We're trying to kill the Dark Lord so we can all go home. The remainder of the game took Vinny about an hour. Maybe we should stop. 
Wait, are, are, are you talking about like the tower and on, or when like, you get from to the here other world? to the, like from here to the end of the game? I assume. Oh, hmm. Well, Metopia was fun. From the start of this area to the end. An hour. Okay, yeah, we'll save this for later. <laughs> so we, we had two things where we're like, oh, it'll probably be one more stream, and neither of them ended up being correct. Yeah. I was hoping he was just at the top of the tower. I, I didn't remember the other world thing. You got you got to yeah. count for JRPGs. The end boss has to be some abomination in like a mystic god realm. Yep. Oh, mystic god realm action attack, bro. I'll sell off all these sphinx cat suits. I guess. If it ends up being a short stream next time, we'll have to, like, find something to pair it with, maybe. Uh, Tony Hawk. Fin it, finish the fight stream. How long were we playing Tony Hawk? That was only, like, two hours, right? Yeah. Maybe two and a half. In a two and a half hour stream. Kill God, then go skate. Skate on, my son. <laughs> Let's kill God and go skate, bro. Man, I wish the Tony Hawk remake were on Steam. That would be nice. I'd play the shit out of it. Don't really want to install it on the Epic Store, though. I, I bet. I guess I could have done that off stream. <laughs> All right. Well, this once again ran longer than we were anticipating. So uh, indeed. But now we're finally, finally at the very end for real this time. We're truly on the home stretch. And you know what? Actually, if we really wanted to, we could do the final hour of the game and then just mess around in post-game a little bit next time. Yeah. We'll see how we're feeling. But yep. one more stream of Metopia, for sure. And then we're done with it. One or yep. two more of Tony Hawk. We're close then to we're finishing a couple games. Yep. Also, I think we're a very, pretty close to the end of Pokemon. I, I guess it depends on how long it takes you to get through the rest of it. Well, that's it. I'm glad we got a bunch of people showed up today, so thanks yep. for watching. Thank you for showing up. Fun talking to you guys. We'll see you, see next, you next time. time.